And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Bioforge. And when we last left off... Um, we have had killed Kanan, that blue fellow lying over there. And the reason why we killed him was, well first of all, he was attacking us and we defended ourselves. But more importantly, we killed him because we need to steal his fork. And I'm not fork. kidding you. A fork? A dining room? This fork is a plot important item. There's also something else that we can a pick up. Yeah, a photograph. Um, yeah, some girl standing what appears to be a moon base. And there finally is his logbook. Which a contains log a logbook. Which contains a lot of information. But I think it is worthwhile, in fact, to read through all of this. Um, this will take a while. So if this is boring for you, then I'm sorry. But I'm going to read this out. I can still hear Dane in the other cell. They beat him pretty bad. So bad that they called, called down from control and all of them to stop. I should be treated a little better than that. It's unfitting for any Mondite to die in a place like this. So the Mondites, they're basically a religious cult who are of the conviction that humanity should advance beyond its present status um, using cybernetic implants. Okay, why? Don't ask me. It's, it's their thing. Okay. And yeah. So these Mondites there who who operated upon us. Okay, and now I'm sort of spoiling a li little bit of plot here. Um, but anyway, okay. it's unfitting for any Mondite to die in a place like this. I don't know why I'm writing this down. This lock is the only thing I have in my cell besides the picture. Pretty. I wish I knew her name. So it is apparently not his girlfriend. I guess I always believed that my former comrades would show me mercy, for I was one of them. Now I know that the exact opposite is true. They say me, see me as a traitor, while that they are very capable of inflicting, of inflicting cruelty on a total stranger as I was when I was one of them. It was just as likely that they wouldn't. In my case, they specifically seek out some horrible form of revenge for me. I can't be saved by fate or random chance. I wish they'd just get over it with it. They tell me I am to be turned over to Mastaba. Mastaba is the leader of the Mondites. He's a butcher, a psychotic. Those goons can gibber all they want. I can see in their eyes that I'm not the only one afraid of him. I refuse to believe it. It has to be some form of psychological torture. They must be reading this. Do you hear me, Mert? I know you are bluffing. Amdant, you pederast. You don't frighten me. I'm being prepped for surgery. I resisted the shocks and injections as best I could, but they won. In a minute, they'll be back, back to take me to the control level. I wonder if they are planning to do the same to Dane. I wonder how the patient in cell 3 feels right now. If you recall, um, we are actually the patient in cell 3. I mean, yeah, our cell number was was 3. Um, okay. They did it. It's over. Is that the worst you can do, Mastaba, you bastard? I dreamed I was back home. My parents were still alive. I am exhausted and in pain. But I feel like I can pull through this. I need rest. They actually left food for me. I'm not hungry. Too tired to get it anyway. Need more sleep. Somebody rigged one of the tower base tower bots with an injector and wired it in a mad software box. It looked like Angel's work. 
my own private nurse. If I try to get up, it will inject me with who knows what. If I lie down, it seems to leave me alone. Yeah, so in the beginning, we immediately entered combat while well, I entered combat. And the reason for this was because the this nurse bot would have just started injecting us with things and eventually would have killed us. Okay. My skull feels like it's about to split open. I want to sleep, but I can't. That damn robot is watching me every second. It won't let me get up. Mastaba came by to examine me. He looked upset, perhaps disappointed. Whatever he tried to do me, whatever whatever he tried to do to me must not have taken right. They can't operate on me again. I'm too weak now. It'll kill me. Something's wrong. I'm hearing a weird trilling noise. It changes pitch from high to low. Sometimes it's in patterns of short bursts and other times in a long and constant noise. It's taken me nearly an hour of lying here on this bunk to figure out that it isn't coming from anywhere in the cell. It is in my head. My skin itches all over. It's impossible to lie still. I want to peel it off with my fingers. I'm trying to block out the noise and think of something else, but I can't. I just want to sleep. Why won't they let me sleep? Ah. What did they do to me? The robots won't let me off the bed. I know they are watching me on the monitor. The noise in my head is careening out of control. There's blood all over my fingers from the scratching. Maybe they've invented some terrible new way to die and I'm the first one they've ever tried it on. I wish I could just make it happen right now. It's all stopped. It's very quiet. I must rest. <coughs> it is a very bizarre practical joke. But this is the only that that is the only logical conclusion. I mean explanation. I love the color. Blue has always been my favorite. I've just read back the entire contents of this journal. I will assume that because I am blue, as is the author from the last entry, that I am the person who wrote it. I may be mistaken about that. I'm not sure. Despite the confinement, I have to say that I am very much enjoying the situation. Now that the last of my old thoughts and memories have been erased from my mind, I am finally free to become the person that I originally always was. It is a very liberating concept. Okay, clearly, um, amnesia seems to be a common, um, common effect of this surgery, as our character is also amnesic, amnesiac. Uh, yeah. By the way, I should have, I should have probably in the beginning read the uh, logbook of our protagonist. Because that would make it made a little bit more sense. Anyway, <clears throat> I saw I saw father again while I was asleep. He wore he wore a red mask. We talked for a while, and he warned me about this fellow Mastaba that I read about in the book. I don't dream about mother anymore. Mother fusses over me so. Every time I try to leave my bed tucks me back in. I wish she'd stop treating me like a child. Um, <clears throat> I guess he mistakes the nurse bot for his mother. Something terrible has happened. I wanted to go for a walk around the room. Mother said that I should rest. We started arguing and in a fit of anger I killed her. What should I do now? When the guards came, I confessed my crime to them. At first, they gave me a long look of disbelief and they started laughing. I was shocked several times, but I was able to make them stop. After they left, I noticed that my food was gone. Perhaps I shall be punished by being starved to death. It is only fitting given the severity of what I have done. 
fools. When they took the food, they forgot the fork. I nearly wept when they returned. Imagine my relief when I saw that they had only come to collect what I kept from that young gentleman's face. I know things no one else knows. They think I am mad, but I assure you, the fog is the key to my whole world. Mother has gone to a better place, and I have my fog. So far my plan has been working perfectly. I'm making significant progress. I'm certain that I have nearly succeeded in convincing several of my guards that they are in fact really lizards. We aren't hitchhiking anymore, we are riding. That guy com apparently has gone com completely insane. The buzzing in my ears has become so loud that I have to scream at the top of my lungs just to hear myself think. Whoever is playing the flute, I'd wish they stop it. Dane down the hall is my only friend. The picture he gave me keeps me company, okay, apparently this was Dane's picture that we saw. If I ever see him again, I really shall have to kill him. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get hungry. <clears throat> now I understand. All along it is I who keep them prisoner. They desperately want to escape here into my world. But they cannot, for I guard them well. Something inexplicably is, inexplicable is happening. The world is on fast forward. I can no longer understand what people say. Mind makes sense. No feeling the talk out of my face. Time is now a big round circle of things. Shooing when the eyes come. It's so loud these days it's completely dark. What surgery may it be? Can't think of it. Lost either myself or else the whole world, the whole universe, somewhere. Hunt the worm. Vacuum. This guy has gone insane. And before we are going insane from eating out too many log files, let us actually exit the cell and solve a puzzle. So, ignoring the steward arm, let us try to open this door. Yeah, we can't. Um, but the there the panel you saw some sparks um, emitting there this panel cannot be opened with our bare hands but it can very well be opened with our fork so let us remove this panel and then solve a very simple puzzle um, okay we need to make a connection from here to there so basically Yeah. Need to do this and this and then this. And then the puzzle is solved. And then we can open the door. With our amazing strength. This is control to Marine Dropship Ronick. Landing platform is in position. You are clear to land, Ronick. This is Marine Dropship Ronick, now making final approach. Marine Dropship Chelios, standing by. Mm. You guys better hurry. Another prisoner has escaped. I'm looking at him on the monitor now. Ooh. He's hmm. in the guard room. Uh oh. He must not reach the excavation site. Sit tight. We're almost there. And we're 
bringing a little extra firepower to deal with your escape prisoner. Hmm. He's gonna be it looks no like trouble at all. It looks like we're in in for some fighting, or maybe not really fighting, rather some dying. Okay, this is our cell, cell number three. We can just finally turn off these annoying force bars. Um, yeah, this game is actually very serious about interactivity. So, so a lot of things, a lot of monitors, well, I think, so far as I know, basically all the monitors and computers you encounter here, you can actually interact with, which is a cool thing. Because I'm, I think, I think it's a bit boring just to, well, have, I don't like having objects in games that are just there for the looks and that don't do anything. Okay. Let us read some of these prisoner informations. So let us read about us first. Occupant ID AP 127. Species Homo sapiens. Origin classified. Hmm. Project ABA. Care. Feed with formula 4A three times daily. Six injections serum 33 four times daily. Enforce rest with sedation if needed. Restrain subjects left arm to prior to entry. That's strange. Hmm. Um, the other guy that we killed, Kanan, he got his left arm sewered off, so... Hmm. Why would they restrain our left arm? Anyway. So let us read about this Kanan guy. Uh, species Homo sapiens, origin Daedalus base, security. Care, inject legs with lubricant AE4 twice daily. Feed meat products only. Proceed any entry with stun blast. Stay sharp, subject is trained in combat. Yeah, we saw that because I got my fucking ass beat. Um, Cell number two. Occupant unknown. Species unknown. Origin dig site room three. Project Ecological Experimentation. Care. Keep under armed guards 24 hours. Alert senior officers of all changes. Retract beams only for guard change. If escape occurs, apprehend at any cost. Okay, this thing or that guy, whatever it is, seems to be pretty damn dangerous. I think this person in cell number four, it must be Dane. Um, species Homo sapiens. Okay. Origin classified. Feed with formula. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Subject to undergo final transformation. New instructions to be posted after, after surgery is completed. Okay. And when we'll come back, folks, um, we will explore the rest of this little area. And then try to escape. And we are also going to read our logbook. Our logbook. Um, finally. So until next time, folks. Until then.